Just because the attendees are young doesn't mean they don't deserve my very best creative work. But I couldn't have done it without the help of one of my dearest and most supportive friends. You are my favorite dragon. Your favorite dragon? This is awful! Awful? Uh, completely unusable. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what that guy was talking about. This thing is perfect. This is terrible! Simply terrible! So that puppeteer didn't like your exquisitely crafted best puppet theater in the history of puppeteers puppet theater. I'd never have something finished in time. She really, really, really wants to make a creative contribution. She said, I'm her favorite dragon. So it's up to me to come through for her in her time of need. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. It's not for me, it's for Rarity. What is that? Spikes, look me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. Pointed and downtrodden, I still am. But I brought you something. <laughs> Unless it's another carton of vanilla oat swirl. Ooh. But not the kind that can help you create something in time for the fair. This can. I suppose it's worth a try. Projecting forth whatever beauty you see, only when true words are spoken will you finally be set free. Did it work? I thought about making this a much more beautiful spell book. And I have! <gasps> so that I may provide him with the most fabulous theater he's ever imagined. Or should I say that I've ever imagined? They come to see the show, I presume. You'll notice I had to make do in light of your recent failure to produce a functioning theater. Oh. <laughs> Well, it is gorgeous, but that was never the problem now, was it? Ernie, I don't know how you managed to do so in such a short amount of time, but you seem to have redeemed yourself. How did you manage to do so in such a short... Thank you again, Spike, for being such a dear friend and finding this book for me. My pleasure. Well, guess I can return it now that the fair's over. Uh, then again, perhaps I should keep it just a scooch longer. You don't mind, do you, Spike? Of course not. See you tomorrow! <laughs> Rarity? Are you okay? Oh, I have never been better. This book you've given me is amazing. But then I started thinking, why stop there? Oh, Spike. I've always thought this town of ours could use a few beautifying upgrades. And with this book, I can make that happen with such ease. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh, what do you say we get a little breakfast before we get started? Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Why, that cart hasn't an ounce of stylish flair. Isn't it gorgeous? It's amazing. You should ask Applejack if she wants you to give all the Apple family carts a makeover. 
We shouldn't even tell any pony that it's me who's behind all the fabulous changes I'll be making. <laughs> Won't that be a fun little secret for the three of us to share? My marvelous, marvelous book! Of course. Promise me you won't say a word to any pony. And that! <laughs> what in the? Get it off of me! She'll be fine. It's just a dress. Oh, wait for your favorite dragon! You look so content in your little house. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, that leads to a shoe closet. Oh dear! Maybe try the staircase. Oh, no, 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 no! The other staircase. Isn't it gorgeous? What matters is what you think, Spike, and you love it, don't you? Of course I do. It's so. <laughs> <laughs> This party doesn't even seem to have a proper theme. There's so much to do elsewhere. Right. Elsewhere. Just one more little thing before we go. I am simply buzzing with ideas. Simply buzzing. I'm not gonna stop now. Why, I won't stop until every inch of Ponyville has benefited from my creative vision. All because of you. <laughs> Anything for my favorite dragon and most supportive friend. What do you mean, not me too? Oh, judging by that outfit, I thought for sure you... What? This? No, I just wanted to try out a new look. Princess Twilight, the gazebo has been turned into solid crystal, and two ponies are now trapped inside its walls. Ooh. <sighs> But you're right, Aloysius. I have to tell. And once I do, I can forget Rarity thinking of me as her most supportive friend. <sighs> I can't do it. I promised I'd keep all of this between the three of us. I bet she won't be able to use its magic anymore. Oh, come on. It's the perfect plan. I just have to figure out which way she went. I can't see! <laughs> In your creative radiance. <laughs> oh, Spike, you do say the nicest things. Thanks. Now, where was I? <laughs> Here in Ponyville is nearly complete. Don't you think it's time the rest of Equestria benefited from my creative vision? <laughs> oh, yeah. We should definitely go by. <sighs> How? Gone. Why, it's right there. <gasps> I need my book, Spike. What have you done with my book? <sighs> Wait. I don't seem to need it anymore, do I? Yes. Yes. I can feel its magic flowing within me now. Just as you've always been here in Ponyville, your constant praise and adoration driving me to even greater heights until there isn't an inch of Equestria that hasn't been utterly transformed by my... What did you say? I said no. You've been changing things, but you haven't been making them better. I should have told you the truth at the very beginning. <laughs> By the looks of it, something quite terrifying has happened to Ponyville. You happened. Me? The spell took over you and you wanted to change everything in Equestria. I was afraid to tell you how I really felt about it, but then I... I told you the truth. 
Today I learned how important it is to be honest with your friends when they're doing something that you don't think is right. A true friend knows that you're speaking up because you care about them. Did Princess Luna have much better things to do than help me clean up Ponyville? Do you have any idea how hard it was to reverse that much dark magic? Hmm. 